last week, if you joined me, I talked about the Hobonichi Weeks size. And just to clarify, I like Hobonichi products. I just am not into that size. That's not my cup of tea. But totally respect anyone whose cup of tea it is. I'm not, I'm not here to, like, wage war. <laughs> so, um, this week I want to talk to you about the pocket size. And uh, this would be this one right here. So, uh, this size has gained popularity recently. Uh, it used to be kind of not very popular, but now it's just kind of like everybody has to have them. I know uh, Sam Plans here on YouTube has got quite the collection going, so if you really want to see and hear a customer's point of view, go check out some of her videos because uh, I'm pretty sure her mission is to get one of every leather we've ever had. So, um, yeah. <laughs> But, okay, so about this size, let me tell you how big it is, and then I'll get into telling you what I use it for and what I like and don't like about it. So it is uh, five and a half by three and a half, but I'm gonna measure it just to make sure because, you know, the inserts, yes, are five and a half by three and a half. This size I've actually used mm, off and on over the years, like for more than a week. Um, it's not a size that I reach for automatically, but I actually really like this size. And I'll tell you what I use it for. So, uh, when I'm on the phone and I need to jot down a note, I have a little book in here. And these are literally phone notes. Okay, so this is actually a quote. It says, I never had to unscrew another woman's light bulb in order to shine. So, I liked that quote. I don't know who made it, though. It wasn't me. So just disclaimer, <laughs> but I really liked that quote, so I wrote it down in there. So it's kind of like just a little catch-all. If I'm on the phone, I need to jot down a phone number, I put it in that one. In case you're wondering, that insert is by Yellow Paper House um, for Studio Calico, and it's just basically a bunch of different colors. It's got a bunch of bright colors in it. It's very happy, it's nice to look at. I especially like to use um, that kind of colored paper exactly for that kind of thing because if I'm using a certain color paper and I write a note on it I will remember oh yeah it was the yellow piece of paper and I'll look for that piece of paper and then I find the note so it's for me it makes it really easy I like that so I actually really like this for to-do lists and um, my first page is like it's one of my stickers and it says let's do this <laughs> Um, I think for a to-do list, it's perfect size because one page is usually perfect for one day for me, and I don't need to write an entire sentence across the page. I just need to write two or three words, and it's great, ready to go, no problems. So I really like it for to-do lists. I don't like to bullet journal in here, but my to-do lists kind of look like bullet journaling but it's not really the same thing because it's literally just a list. Here's an example. So that would be kind of an example. An example of what my to-do list looked like. And that was one that didn't have too much personal stuff on it. So I'm okay to share that. The inserts that I use in here are either handmade by me or from like Yellow Paper House or um, Paper Penguin Co. I have a Fabriano uh, one in here which I love um, the Fab Fabriano paper uh, for sketching in. And in this book here, I just put it in, so there's like literally nothing in here. I do have a pen test in it though. So this is a great size. It fits in every purse that I own that I use and I can throw it in there. I toss it in there. It's easy, it goes in. <laughs> Um, it's, it feels really nice in the hands. I like the way it feels in my hands. The proportions of it, like, look at this. It is cute. It is so cute. So I see why, why Sam is collecting these. Okay, look at the proportions. Tell me, is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? It is so cute. And if you are just getting into traveler's notebooks and you want like a little catch-all i recommend the pocket size for that i have not yet used the passport size but i'm going to test that out and my opinion might change maybe the passport size is perfect for everything i just said i use this for um, but 
I really like that. I like the size. I think it's cute. It works great. My pen fits in here. This is my favorite pen to use for on the go. Friction four color pen and it is uh, 0.5 friction. And it's my favorite, I love it. Um, it fits in here, it's good to go. Always put the elastic around the pen and it will keep the elastic from digging into your leather. So that's how I like it to be. Um, but yeah, so um, the Passport is not gonna fit a pen like this. So, hmm. We'll see how it goes. I'm like, I'm like all stressed out about using a passport for a week. <laughs> like, no, I don't want to do it. But uh, I do really like this size. I actually have, I don't know, maybe five or six different ones um, sitting in my shelf uh, that I could go use at any time. This is a Mockingbird the, in the color Nightingale. And you can see it has like, look at that pattern. That is so beautiful. I just think these are adorable. And um, yeah, Sam's inspired me to start a collection. What do you think about the pocket? Have you ever used one? Leave a comment down below. I would like to know your opinion on it. What, what about it makes you want to have it, to use it, to look at it, to carry it around with you? Um, for me, I just think it's cute. It's very practical. It's so cute. So, so one of the cons that I have for this is actually in the design and this is on my to-do list of things to fix. I don't care for how the pockets on this are pointed this way because it makes the cards really hard to get out. And I'm aware of it guys, you don't need to tell me. I know and I'm working on it. So one of the reasons why I made the E-Class the way that I did because I didn't care for the way the deluxe is is, is on that. Um, but if you're not putting cards in it and you're just putting decorations and stuff like that, it works great. You can always bend it back like this and get your cards out. So, and that's usually if I put a card in there, um, which if I'm just going to the store, I will put my credit card and my ID in here. The other ones I don't use the deluxe pockets on. I have my grocery list in here fast and easy. That is on my to-do list is to change that design for this size. But I have a lot on my to-do list. So I uh, don't, don't count on that changing right away. So, all right guys, comments down below. Can't wait to read them. And I will see you next week when I talk about the personal size. Personal. So, all right, see you then.